What's going on everybody? Hope you're all are having another great day. Today I thought I would bring you a quick video just to talk about some of the most frequent questions that we get over here at High Field Trucking. First off, what I want to cover is the biggest question that we get is what do you haul? So some of the things that we do over here, we do have trucks that are leased on to two different carriers. Uh, those carriers are FedEx Custom Critical as well as Panther Premium Logistics. So I can talk from my experience and what we hauled uh, with FedEx Custom Critical after driving for them for over 14 years. But at FedEx, you're going to do a lot of pharmaceuticals. That is the majority of what we do. Um, but we also do other things like general freight, car auto parts. Uh, there's some high value stuff in there as well. If you get on the art team, um, you're going to do some high value art at museums and uh, you can even go to people's private homes. But um, they do mostly pharmaceuticals over at FedEx. With Panther, I am told that they do mostly general freight, auto parts, uh, things like that, uh, things for assembly lines, plants and stuff like that to keep them up and going. They do have some temperature controlled stuff. Um, but they also do a little bit of high value things, but most of their freight is general freight. Um, another question that we get asked over here is, is this solo or team? So I did a whole video on this talking about why you need to be team and expediting. But over here at Highfield Trucking, we are focused on the team aspect of expediting. It is possible to be a solo driver. However, it's extremely difficult and you just make way more money being a team driver. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. I'll put a link up here in the corner. But uh, yeah, you definitely need to be a team with Highfield to be able to make the most money um, and to have the most opportunities just for the nature of freight that expediting is. Uh, the next question that I'll get a lot is annual gross. Uh, what is your average rate or pay that you're going to be making? So most of our teams uh, per driver are making between sixty and seventy-five thousand per year. Uh, this, that equals roughly one hundred and twenty to one hundred and fifty thousand per team. Can you make less or more? Absolutely. It just depends on how hard you want to run. If you're in the right place at the right time for those cherry picked loads, and you know, there's a lot of factors that go into it. But that is an all-around average of what our teams are making. Of course, the longer that you stay out, the more that you're going to make. There's many different factors in the pay, but that is a roundabout average of what you can expect. Does the uh, truck have cameras? So our trucks do not have cameras. Uh, FedEx Custom Critical is currently doing a beta program for a camera system in the truck. It is an outward facing camera. Not all trucks have it, and it is not mandatory at this time. There are no cameras facing inward on the truck. Do we recommend you to get a camera, a dash cam, an outward facing camera? Absolutely. 100%. There is so much that goes on out here on these roadways today. And let's face it, the bottom line is this is your CDL. You want to protect it at all cost. So if something happens out there, just having that video footage to back you up with what you say happened is going to go a long, long way with law enforcement as well as the carriers because all it takes is one bad mishap and the carrier could let you go and you're out of a job. So having an outward facing camera, we definitely would recommend, um, but again, it is not required. What is the average time that you wait loading and unloading? I would say the majority of our fray, you do not spend much time at all. Is it possible for you to spend a long time at the shipper or at the receiver? Absolutely. I think that goes just in general across the board for, you know, for trucking. I would say there's some places that we go to, they are waiting for this freight. Uh, they are waiting for parts on an assembly line or they are waiting for something else that they need extremely bad to get them up and running again. So as soon as they see that truck pull in, as soon as you tell them that you're there, they're ready to take you in and get you offloaded. Um, Granted, with that being said, you're going to have some places as well, you know, if you're dealing with uh, pharmaceuticals, um, the freight may not be ready, it may not have proper paperwork, um, you may be dealing with customs if you go into Canada. So you do have things along the way that can hold you up, but I would say for the most part in expediting, you are pretty much in and out 
Um, it's not like an 18 wheeler where you're sitting around for hours on end just waiting to be loaded or unloaded. Um, you're, it's pretty quick. Most of our freight, especially on the straight truck side of things, um, most of our freight are, you know, one to four pallets. So it really is nothing. Once they've got the freight ready, they can load you in a matter of minutes and you're offloaded pretty quick as well. Um, is this local or is this over the road? So this is strictly over the road. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but we do all 48 states as well as Canada. Is Canada required? No, it is not. Will you make more money? Yes, you will. Um, but yeah, we do all 48 states. This is an over the road position. Well, we do ask that you try to stay out as long as possible just to maximize your revenue and your opportunities. I've mentioned this earlier, tractor trailer is another thing that is here at Highfield Trucking. If you are not interested in doing straight trucks at all, which in my opinion, I don't see why you would be, but uh, just because, you know, straight trucks, you can go a lot more places that a tractor trailer can't. But if you are strictly interested in tractor trailer, we are expanding our tractor trailer division here at Highfield Trucking. We currently have a Western Star with a Bolt Custom Sleeper 150 inch in the fleet. Um, and then I do know that we have another tractor trailer that is coming on board in August, I believe. And then we have more on order as well. So if you're interested in the tractor trailer division, definitely reach out to us. Our contact information is down below in the description and send us a message and let us know. You can also go to our website at www.highfieldtrucking.com and you can fill out the contact form on there and we have the option to choose if you're interested in straight truck or tractor trailer. But yes, we are quickly expanding the tractor trailer division. Um, another question that we get is your hometown policy. So I briefly mentioned earlier in straight trucks, we do ask that you stay out a minimum of three weeks with one week off. And then tractor trailer is six weeks with one week off. Um, of course, the longer you stay out, the more money you're gonna make, the more opportunities you're gonna have. So most of our teams that are maximizing their revenue are staying out on the road six to eight weeks at a time. I know when me and my co-driver were out there, we were out six to eight weeks, sometimes longer, uh, just depending on the time of year and things that were going on with the freight waves. But minimum is three weeks, and then you can take some home time in a straight truck, and then six weeks if you're in a tractor trailer. The reason we do stay a little bit longer on the tractor trailer is just because these are massive sleepers that we are putting on these things. Every comfort feature that you could ask for. So we don't see how staying out a little bit longer is gonna hurt because you just have all of your home ability right there in the truck with you. Um, the Current tractor trailer that we have is a 150 inch custom sleeper. I believe the next one that is coming on is a 143. I'm not quite positive on that, but I believe it is a 142, 143 inch. Um, so you do have lots and lots of space in these sleepers. Even our straight trucks are big custom sleepers. So um, staying out for a longer period of times is not that big of an issue. Um, but again, the longer you stay out, the more money you're going to make. Another question that we get asked a lot is, can I have a pet? So absolutely. Highfield Trucking 100% encourages you to have your four-legged friends with you out on the road. We do allow pets in the truck. We know that your pet is your family, and we are 100% on board with that. Um, also, they can be a good guard dog or a guard cat. I know a lot of people have cats out there. But um, one thing to keep in mind though with a pet is there's no deposits or anything like that. But some of the carriers, for example, with FedEx Custom Critical, if you do have a pet on the road, then you may not be eligible for some runs that they offer. For example, going to a nuclear power plant or something like that. The customer just absolutely refuses to have any pets on their property. So if that's the case, you may not be eligible for those runs. But, you know, that is a choice that you would have to make as an independent contractor um, as to whether or not to have a pet out there with you. But Highfield is 100% on board with you having your pets with you in the truck. And uh, one of the other main questions that we get is, is this forced dispatch? So again, you are an independent contractor. You are running that truck. This is your business. Um, as well as it is high field. So you are making the decisions. We do have a great mentor program here at High Field Trucking. This mentor program is one-on-one peer-based over the telephone 
to give you all the information that you need to be able to make the best decision while you're out on the road uh, for you and your business and to maximize your income. So our mentors are going to tell you what they would do in a certain situation, but you are by no means forced into that decision. You choose how and where and when you want to run this truck. So you are not forced to dispatch. The carriers are going to offer a load out to you. You get all the information. You're free to ask them questions, but you make the ultimate final decision to uh, take the run or not take the run, to ask for more money, bonuses, whatever the case may be, you are in 100% complete control of your truck. Guys, this was some of the most frequently asked questions that we get over here at High Fuel Trucking. If you are interested in this type of work, please check out the other videos that we have on the channel. Check out some of our other favorite YouTubers, me, the Expediter Boogie, as well as Luke Shire Expediting, Truck and Travel, Nick and Carla Vlogs, The Real Trucker Couple, all of these provide great examples of what you will run into while out here uh, doing expediting over the road. If you are interested in this type of work, reach out to us, leave a comment down in the description, send us a message on Facebook, Instagram, uh, visit our website at highfieldtrucking.com. You can chat live with a representative on there uh, Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And uh, you can also fill out the contact form. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you and your teammate may have and uh, set you up for a phone call with someone over here at Highfield and get you started right away. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this answered a lot of your questions. If you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer those. I do monitor this channel very frequently. Thanks as always for watching hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date with all the new videos that we have coming out. And as always, keep those wheels a turning and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.